hi guys okay so I am here with my second video for panda haul and my collaboration with them and I am going to be playing with these beads that I wasn't sure I was going to be able to use now I have actually established that I can use them in several ways so they will actually fit onto eye pins um, so I have taken the white ones off the strand just to double check and they actually fit on the eye pins brilliantly albeit obviously very tiny but they fit on brilliantly so they will go on the eye pins knowing that they will go on the eye pins I also know that they will fit on the memory wire that I have and they will also fit on this plastic stretchy beading cord that I have so today we're going to make a bracelet um, this is the adults size one and it comes on just literally an absolute massive coil a bit like a slinky um, and you work on it from one end obviously where the end is and it is notoriously a pain in the butt for getting tangled so you work on it from this end or whichever end and you know you spiral round to get to wherever you want it to be however many wraps I usually do three maybe four and then once it's full you cut it off and then you loop the ends and you have a memory wrap bracelet and the idea of that is you don't have to fasten it there's no clasps at either side it just wraps around your wrist and it doesn't come off until you take it off so i will yeah sort my memory wire out um i'm gonna do three maybe four strands okay i'm going to take my wire cutters and i'm going to they're not wire cutters they're bead crimpers these are my wire cutters <laughs> definitely 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 out of practice here In fact, I'm not going to do that. I will do it on the reel like I normally do and then we'll cut it off after. Alright guys, so I'm now just going to literally just string these on. I will use my 4mm spacer beads in between so I'm going to actually start with one of those because when we finish we're going to actually loop that around and wrap it. Um, so, And I will use these as well oops so how did we have it i think we had the spacer beads didn't we either side yes we did okay so i'm going to put that on then i'm going to put a spacer bead on then i'm going to put one of the bicorns on like that and then we're going to do the colours hi guys okay so I have done a fair few rounds on this and I am getting to a place where I am happy I've only got one bead left to go anyway um, I didn't originally intend on putting these Shambhala beads in between but it didn't look right as it was working up it didn't look right just the beads on their own so I added them and I'm loving it so I'm just kind of here to do the last round with you guys so I've done one full colour strip so I'll put my bicorn spacer on and then I'll just one of each bead and then we'll put the last Shambhala bead on and then we will finish the bracelet off okay now this has been extremely time consuming, it's taken me about three hours to do this because I'm not the fastest, plus I did break in between anyway for tea. Um, but these are so tiny and fiddly and I'm so out of practice. Um, yes, I used to find doing this sort of thing extremely 
calming and relaxing and I have found it nothing but stressful <laughs> this evening so yeah I remember now why I gave up playing with the beads in the first place also apart from the fact my eyesight is absolutely atrocious right now I cannot wait till Friday to go for my new eye test well, not new eye test, but go for an eye test and get some new glasses so I can actually see. Um, especially close up. Well, we was quite lucky on that round and the beads actually worked, but as you can see, there's a nice little... Well, I don't know if you can see, yeah, there's a collection of beads there that didn't go on. Because not all beads are created equally, and not all bead holes are created equally either. And yes, quite a few of them didn't go on. So you now the annoying thing with these is when they don't quite fit as perfect as you want them to, they don't slide down properly. And we need them to slide down or up to be tight. Okay, so we have come to the end of that double round now. So we're going to put another bicorn spacer bead on, well, a bicorn bead on. Then we will put a spacer bead on. Then we'll put the Shambhala bead on. Then we'll put another spacer bead on. And the bicorn bead. And there is quite a big chunk there. Now, before I do anything else, I will come back in a second. Before I do anything else, I'm going to get rid of all these beads because I will send them scooting off all over the place. And we really don't want that. So what I'm going to do is, as they are already in these little containers, it should be fairly simple. Let's get rid of the spacer beads as well first. Um, I found some bead containers that I never used. I bought them to put beads in at some point and obviously never used them. Um, so I'm going to start by just tipping the beads into these containers. And this stack, so that's good. I love these little plastic holder things. Ugh, I don't like that squeaky noise, but... Mr. Bead there. Oh god, I hate that noise. Alright. Horrible, horrible noise. Okay, now, this is the bottom of this container, but if I take that base away and take the top off this one, put it on that one, I'll have a single container, these will then stack on the bottom of here. So I can continue to stack my beads. Like so. container left over as well. Oh fantastic. Well this <laughs> honest to God. Oh dear me. Well I'm sorry Panda Hall well Tammy and Panda Hall but <laughs> oh dear me. My collaboration with you guys is not going to plan for any of us. Yeah. I've now got beads all over the floor behind me as well as here in front of me. So, yeah. <laughs> oh, dear me. I've got to laugh because if not, I will cry. <laughs> right, beads gone. Be gone.
Oh dear me. Oh. I will pick them all <laughs> Oh goodness me. Oh right. I am now going to use my wire cutters that I was planning on using earlier. I'm not sure if I kept that part of the video in. <laughs> oh dear, I'm sorry, I've got the giggles now. That's never good. Right, so I'm going to find where the clip is on the bottom part of this. And I'm going to clip it all the way down there. So there's quite a big chunk on there. That's fine. This has got completely tangled up whilst I was using it as well. So, yeah. Nothing has gone to plan. Right, anyway, that's fine. Now I'm going to get my round nose pliers because <clears throat> this bit is actually fairly simple. Without moving anything, I'm just going to create a loop. Um, I actually want it to go inwards, I think. Yeah, I do. I want it to go inwards. So... I am going to just create <clears throat> a nice little loop there like that and then I'm going to move all these beads up against that loop as tightly as possible in one just a few beads at a time keep it nice and tight all the way Oh, the kitten's going to have a field, trip, field day now. <laughs> dear me. Dear, dear me. <laughs> oh, here we go. <clears throat> Corner. Out. Right. So, there we go. All the way around. Right. Now, that's as tight as I can get it for now. So, I'm going to... Put that bulldog clip up against there. I'm going to get rid of the kitten. Well, that actually wasn't as bad as I thought and beads have been <laughs> salvaged. Okay, so they're all in there. The kitten is now not eating beads. Right, now I'm just going to double check that they are all nice and tight against there. Yep, not bad job. Okay, so we can take that off. Now this is way too long, so of course we need to clip it off. Okay, and then back to like we did with the bead dangles in the previous video, we need to make another loop. Look, this side. This is way too much. So, again, from the last bead, about a quarter, well, or a finger's width, because I'm not bothered about this being a slightly bigger loop. And cut. And I've cut too much off. Great. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so we're going to loop this inwards again and because I cut too much off I'm going to go right at the edge of the pliers so it's going to be a bit tricky for me okay but it's done I'm used to this sort of thing <laughs> okay and there we are so few little jiggly porkery things. Okay, so I'll push it back, push it in, pull it back, push it in, 
Let's get the flat nose pliers now to just help a little bit squash that inwards. Because I didn't leave myself enough space. I can't get the loop the loopy part of the pliers in there to turn it around but there we go perfect now we're not hanging anything from you could do but i'm not hanging anything from this or anything so it doesn't have to be perfect it doesn't have to be too big or anything like that that is fine that is closed if you can see Back round and there is our memory wire bracelet with them pretty beads and the idea of a memory wrap bracelet, like I said, is it's a memory wrap, <laughs> you know, it remembers. So you just wrap it around your wrist, like so, and it remembers where it's supposed to be, and it stays there. Okay, so there you go. Now, as I said, you can hang things from these, but you don't need to. And yeah, I love it. It's, they fit so nicely, they look effective and yeah these oh, sparkly beads is just awesome. So there we are guys, I'm not used to it being on the dime, I'm used to wearing bracelets on this arm. Um, but yeah so there we go guys, there is the memory wrap bracelet and the gorgeous beads that we used. Um, yeah. Now normally I only do three wraps but that's more than enough. I just used the beads, these coloured um, Shambhala beads. There was that one and that very end one are black. The ones in between are grey and there was eight, two, four, six, no, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, yeah there's eight grey ones in between and then two black ones so there's ten of these what I call the Shambhala beads all together and then plenty of them in between there's um, 20, 20 rows of beads in between each strand with my own four millimetre bicone spacer beads in between as well <clears throat> but yeah so there's plenty of beads on there and it just sparkles, amazing, shimmers and everything. 